Christian martyr name was Stephen. Paul was there, or Saul at the time was there to, make, to watch it, possibly make it happen. They take Stephen, after he preached the gospel, they threw him in a ditch to kill him. And the way they did it is they would stone people, they'd throw them in a ditch, and they would all pick up stones to, to, to kill the offender, or in this case, Stephen, and pick up stones, and then to finish him off, somebody would pick up a big, huge stone and drop it right down on top of him. So these men are gathering stones and rocks to throw, and, and, and here's Saul standing back and saying, Hey, excuse me, I see you're about to kill that Christian right there, and I applaud that. But it looks like you have on coats and garbs and garments, and it looks like it's kind of got you restricted where you can't really get a full range to, to, to pound him with a rock. So I'll tell you what, why don't you take off the, your coat, put it right here, thank you. Your garb right there, oh, I like this, a nice color, thank you. And, and put it, okay, now you can pick up the rock and you can come from the backyard take him out. So they hand him the clothes, he lays them at his feet, they take the rocks, and they stone Stephen to death. And you know what Saul was doing the whole time? <laughs> Applauding the death of a follower of Christ. One day Saul's going down this road called the Damascus Road in a, in a bright light just blinds him gloriously ruins him. In the sense, when it hits him, he hits the knees. And the scriptures say, he said, who are you, Lord? With that kind of pure white hot light, he knew it was coming from God. And it was the voice of Jesus who said, Paul, or Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And right there, Saul, radically saved, became a follower of Jesus. Matter of fact, his name changed from Saul to Paul. And he knew in that moment he should have been cut to pieces. But guess what he found? He found mercy. So when Paul is writing this, when he's writing down in view of God's mercy, think lump in the throat, think tears in the eyes, because he remembers God's mercy. And he's looking at you and me, ones who deserve the wrath of God, punishment for our sins, for what we had done. Instead, we found mercy through Jesus. And he's saying, for crying out loud, look at the cross. Look at the mercy of God. Now worship him. Worship him with your life. Again, he is not here, nor am I, to go, rah, rah, rah. You can do it. Go be a better Christian. Everybody, go out of here and be more holy. Everybody, go out of here and be more godly. That is not what the call is. The call is, look at the cross. Look at God on the cross, dying for your sin, covering you so that you might call him Daddy. Jesus, alive from the grave, three days later, proving he is who he said he was, ascended at the right hand of the Father, and coming again. Mercy. Do you know God's mercy this morning? Do you treasure his mercy? Do you, cher do you cherish his mercy?